Hey everyone, this is Gleb, and today I want to show you kind of cool example that I recently uh, implemented. So let's look at the app. It has an element and it has some text. Right now the text is hello, but it's not what it's showing initially. Initially it shows dash dash, when loading, and then hello, and then hello stays. I call this the element becoming stable. The text doesn't change anymore. But it kind of goes through a couple of things. Maybe there is no text, but maybe loading text, and then the actual text that stays for a while. So how do you check in Cypress that the element's text doesn't change for a certain period, like it becomes stable? Uh, you, you can implement it yourself. Uh, here's a query. Uh, the query command in Cypress retries, meaning if you throw an error, then it goes to a previous command, for example, get and tries querying the element again, and then it gets here. The way queries work is that there is a query command where you can pass parameters like number of milliseconds, the duration, and then you return an actual function that runs multiple times potentially. It gets the previous subject element and it can check do I have initial text or is it the first time I see an element. And if it's first time you grab the text, you, uh, for example, grab when you started so that you can measure the periods of time. And then you throw an error and that forces the previous command to get it again. And then uh, this function will call it B again. Um, once you get called again, you can check if the text now is the same and then check how much time passed since you started looking at the element of the text. And if it's uh, past uh, the you know, timeout period, then you can say everything is good. The element is stable. Otherwise, you can say, well, I still have to wait. So you throw an error, retries. If the text changes, then you just grab its current value and you start waiting again for an error. So here's how you can use it. Uh, get the element, uh, stable text, I believe. Um, and let's say for a second, right? And notice what it does. Waits, waits, and then after a second it says I'm stable. A cool thing, I added console props to this custom command. And if you click on the stable text, it says, this is how much I waited. I said minimum duration for the stable text is 1000. And it waited for 1004. And the total time between the execution of the command to it changing the text twice, and then 1004 milliseconds when it was stable is almost three seconds. Okay. You don't have to implement it yourself. I wrote this command in my Cypress map plugin. And all you need to do here is to say stable and pick which parameter you want to be stable. So text and let's say 500 milliseconds and it retries. And notice in this case, it actually grabbed the wrong text. If we look at what the text was is dash dash because our initial dash dash was displayed for one second. So we probably want to wait longer. If we wait for a second and a half, then it will get hello, right? Um, because there is one second between this command and this update. So if you wait for a second and a half, then only the hello stays. If we wait, um, before that, you will catch per, per second. And the query command in this case yields the original element. So you can say should have text, let's say hello. Of course, if you think about it, if you know the text, right, and it's hello, then you don't need stable. You can just say should have text hello. And it will retry and retry and retry. Of course, what we do by having stable is that we say not only that the text was hello, but it actually remains there for at least 1500 milliseconds. Okay, so use my Cypress map plugin. It has this query and lots more.